Hey guys, it's your boy DJ Reminis back with another tutorial and today we're going to talk about 808 kicks and 808 bass. I'm going to split this tutorial up into multiple tutorials just because I don't want to overwhelm you guys and it'll just make it easier in the long run and you can pick and choose what items work for you. So today we're just going to talk about placement and EQ settings and kind of getting the bass and the kick in the right sort of um, modes. Um, and I'll show you how to do that today. So first, I'm just going to play what I have here. Again, just going to make sure everything's turned off. Yeah. So this is just a normal kick and uh, bass. You know, 808, this is a rolling kit. So this is just a standard kit. I'll solo the kick here. Solo the bass. So together, I mean, it sounds really muddy, uh, you know, in the bottom end there. So let's fix that up. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's look at the kick. Um, I'm going to just turn the EQ settings on. So the first thing I've done with this kick is I've rolled off um, about 60, 64 hertz or so, enough to knock out all that low end rumble we don't need because the bass is going to take care of that. So let's play it uh, with the EQ setting on. The other thing that I did too was actually boost it up in that uh, range as well. So if I actually turn this off. Turn that up. So that gave, some, that gave the kick a little bit of power. And the other thing that I did was I wanted to come through the mix. So I'd make it really punchy. So... I took a little bit out at 250 hertz, so let's listen to that. Without it. The other thing I did was I added a little bit of attack at one and a half, uh, just to let it come through the mix a little bit better, so let's play that. Without it. And then, I don't know why I added this, it just sounded really, really nice. I added a little bit of top sort of in sheen to it, about three and a half. It just sounded really nice. Um, I'll play it. Without it. So that takes care of the kick. And then let's look at the 808 bass. Um, let's look at the EQ settings first. So the first thing, whoops. So the first thing that I did was I rolled off at about let's see, that's about one one k around there, just to get the the top end sort of knockiness out of the way. I had something I didn't like. Plus, you don't need that information anyways because it's bass. Just gonna get in the way. So let's play this. Without it. Again, there's some, you know, you don't eat all that in the high end there. Next thing I did was I added a little bit of 250 back in. Because if you remember on the kick, I took some out. So I'm going to do the opposite and add it back in. Because what we're trying to do here is car frequencies. I shouldn't use car, poor choice of words. Actually cut holes in the frequency, you know, uh, bandwidth there so we can fit stuff in. So the way we do that is we actually do the opposite we did with the kick. So I added that back in. So let's listen to that. Without it. Okay. And the other thing I did was I added a little bit of back, uh, bottom end back into it to give that boominess. So let's listen to this. Without it. What I like to do with bass is add a little bit of distortion to give it sort of that separation when you hear it, and it comes through really nice in the mix. Beautiful plugin by Ableton called Saturator. You just basically drop it in, turn it on, and you get this beautiful distortion sound, and you just play with this one little knob here, the drive knob. So let's listen to this. Without it.
great plugin. The last thing that I do is actually add this plugin called Utility, which is a stereo width plugin. What I'm doing is actually narrowing the bass so it's more in the middle. So let's listen to this. Uh, and you can see the it's actually set to about 45%. without it so now we got the kick where we want it and the bass where we want it now it's just a matter of putting it together and listening to it just going to make sure everything is turned off so you hear the before and after so let's turn this off so this is the before quite muddy and then let's listen to the after Again, just with a few simple plugins in Ableton. So there you guys have it, 808 kick, 808 bass, with a few plugins in Ableton. That kick is punchy, it comes through the mix. The bass, you know, it's gonna hit you in the chest as well. You're gonna feel it when, you, when you're inside the clubs. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, watch out for more tutorials coming really, really soon here. Please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel. That we stay up to date with the latest and greatest, and you'll get notifications of new tutorials that come out. My name is DJ Reminis. See you guys real soon.